I'm Peter, and we're going to find out if it's possible to do a SAML IDP and SP on a single big IP VE, this time on F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Post of the Week. All right, so Dev Central member HPR asks, is it possible to do federation and specifically SAML requests on a single big IP device? And as you know, SAML is a kind of verification on authentication mechanism to have a third party vouch for you. There are two pieces to SAML really. There is an identity provider that who vouches for you, the authenticator, and then there's a service provider. So after you get authenticated and your identity um, is validated, it then sends the SAML token, the SAML assertion over to the service provider. So you're then able to get the resources that you're asking for. And so he's asking, can you do identity, the, the identity part and the service provider part on a single big IP? And you certainly can, as a matter of fact, as Dev Central member Dave Varela uh, answers this particular question. And it's kind of an interesting uh, setup where he's got a single sign on. So uh, HPR, it's a very small or, you know, not that complex uh, environment. And what he did is he set up the, a virtual edition cluster with three virtual servers on the back end. Um, the IDP.lab is doing the AD authentication, so that's the identity provider. It's hitting the Active Directory on the back end. Portal.lab is the single sign-on resource managed by Access Policy Manager, APM, and that has the resource. So when you click on this resource based on identity, you then go to OX dot lb or oxlb dot lab which is the service provider and ltm is load balancing that the problem hpr was running into was that he wasn't able to pass along the token there was a problem getting to the uh the service provider piece of it and the key to it all is to make sure that you have different dns names for each of these so a different dns uh, DNS names, different DNS for this, different DNS for this back end. So when you apply the profile, the service provider profile from uh, SAML to this other, the back end um, for it, the big IP doesn't get confused because what's happening is this is handing the cookie over to here. And in HPR situation, they had the same DNS addresses. And so the uh, service provider side was getting confused. And if you have a different DNS name, when that APM cookie gets passed along, it will then say, oh, okay, you're coming from this different system, this different DNS, this different host name, I'll allow you access to the resources that you need. Kind of an interesting setup. Uh, early on, I kind of wondered about that because usually they're two separate systems and you're going to a different data center or a different system to get access to your services. But here, you're able to do it all on one big IP. Very cool. Special thanks to Dev Central members HPR and Dave Varela for the questions and answers. This time on F5 Dev Central's Lightboard Post of the Week. I'm Peter. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the community.